Okay. Yeah. You need um, micro your just, fucking macro, you piece of shit. I cheesed my way into gold by just playing Protoss. And as soon as the game started, I would just put all of my fucking drones into their base and just build a base in their base. Yeah, I don't, just all I, don't, next uh, to each other? I don't give a damn what anybody says. I think StarCraft is a shitty game. Well, you're objectively wrong, but... but yeah, I no, mean, I'm right. It's no, it's just so, wait, can those trains kill you? Just FYI. Yes, yes. yes. They can awesome. kill the tank. Kill I the spawned tank. in one, that was fun. Holy shit, this looks like a Red Orchestra 2 map. I Holy yeah, fucking shit, that's a lot of goddamn guys coming out of this isn't Charlie. Red Orchestra 2, so it's actually, you can have fun in this game, maybe, if you're lucky. It's, I, this map reminds me of one of the fucking Call of Duty maps, and I'm trying to remember the name of it. The so one in Pripyat? Oh, Eagles. fuck that. There's one! I of all those people, people, I killed Hagger right, twice. See you guys. I didn't kill anybody else. There was one COD 4 map that took place in, like, Pripyat from the, uh, fucking, uh... From Stalker. Yo, know, it's the, yeah. um, the, no, the no, Jilly's no. in the Mist mission. Yeah, it's that fucking... Chernobyl. That's Chernobyl. That's actually from Stalker. That's a real building. Yeah, it's a real oh, building yeah. in Stalker. You can go and sit yeah. in Stalker and see it. The Modern I mean, Warfare 1 that is... that would require you to play exact. Stalker, which, why would you do that in the first place? Shut the tree your mouth. Stalker is, like, my second least favorite game after Morrowind. Ooh. Are you a fucker? Uh, uh, That's a weird all right, choice. Alright, is that like a random edge I, simulator? I was gonna say no. out of that. <laughs> That's just no. him trying to become a pariah. No, that is, I literally how tried to, to play those games how so many times. In one and it's like... What about so the it's like, Scrolls <laughs> Arena? Do you like that one more? I've never played Arena. I'm more of a Jack Football fan. Like, I would probably like that one less than Morrowind. I just yeah, want to kill somebody with the stupid shield and I just get shot in the back every time I fucking put it on. Which is... Uh, Chernobyl, the first one. Stalker's pretty good. I, I, I never played played it without a mod, though. I yeah, I was playing with a mod. Yeah, that was, yeah, I mod. was not playing it with a mod. Maybe that was my problem. Like, Isn't the only, the problem. The Isn't only it? Eastern... The only Eastern European game you can play without mods is, like, Witcher 2. Yeah, Witcher 2 was okay with- Witcher 2 was pretty decent without mods, uh, okay. the- I don't know if it's fucking the- oh, Metro, I need a Metro, Metro game, the Metro, Metro game was 2. decent. Yeah, Metro 2 was pretty good. Oh my god. The first one was okay, and the second one was a lot better, I thought. Yeah, same here. I didn't play the second because I didn't care for the first too much. It, it was really it's janky. Than the, it's- it's yeah. way less jank. Yeah, it's definitely like, uh... What's the uh, janky level? Uh, the, first, the first game was mediocre, the second game. Really yeah. Wait, Witcher or good. Stalker? The thing I didn't Metro. like about Metro. Oh, Metro. Oh, I just I remember like the only reason I remember that game is because they gave it away like 30 different times. I didn't like how linear the game was. Well, the thing, one thing I didn't like was like they kind of uh, in the first game it was supposed to be that you could get like a good ending that See? was impossible to Every get, and then in the second game people like shield. knew that there was a good ending, but it was still impossible to get even like if you knew about it. Which you did, didn't know about in the first game unless you looked that shit up online. Um, well, that's just Russian bleakness. Considering the ending of the book is actually really close to the ending of the game, that doesn't surprise me. Uh, the campaign of the game, by the, the way. The good ending is you die painlessly. But, uh, Pretty much. <laughs> well, that's the thing, though, because it's like it's actually weird because in the second game I thought I got the good ending because the ending was actually was the, actually a good ending. You blow yourself up Sorry. and everybody no, dies, and then like your baby mama's like, "Oh, your dad was a brave hero," and I'm like, "That yeah, that's a pretty good ending." But then no, that's actually the game, bad ending. You go to the train station, and then there's a locker. And you open up the locker, and there's a guy inside, and he says, "You should get out of your stalker." And he closes the door. The guy inside, if like Burn Troy. If that was the stalker, that that game would be redeemed. How is this guy? Because not get out of your stalker, oh, man, was pretty much the only thing I enjoyed in stalker. <laughs> Fucking headshot of that guy with an M320. Strange old guy. Guys, can you just try to teleport me back? Or try what? Do that. Try what? Call it Pripyat. It's uh, honestly uh, of the uh, you know we're saying Eastern or uh, Eastern European games that are playable. Call it Pripyat. That's pretty good. So right. the yeah. Stalker Two was a good game. No, Stalker Two was awful. Clear skies. I never finished Clear Skies. Oh, okay. Series. Okay. So the Stalker Three is decent enough. 
Yeah, Call of Pripyat's really solid. Wait, there's a Stalker 3? Call of Yeah. Yeah, that game was actually okay. No. Oh, oh yeah. Um... Yeah. No, uh, the developers tried to retain oh, so the rights like to how... the name Stalker and they lost it, so they can't make Stalker 3. Okay, so it's like how there was, like, Battlefield 1942, and then Battlefield Vietnam, and then Battlefield 2? Yeah, it's uh, Stalker, Shadow Chernobyl, Clear Skies, and then Color Or how, like, there was, like, Fall oh, 2, and then there was Fall the 3. I saw that. And then there was Fall New Vegas, but Fall, New, but Fall 3 isn't a sequel to Fall 2, but Fall New Vegas is a sequel to Fall 2. Fall New Vegas is also the only one I like playing Uh, that's yeah. also a... Do you find a pain to have? Behind us. I could not play three. I hate oh, it. Oh. Three was so bad. Three had its moments, but yeah. overall, like three, the, three had no the soul. story was the biggest fuck you like ever told in video games. Yeah. Th th hey, uh, you know this giant super mutant that's immune to uh, three was the radiation. Like basically, He's not okay. going in. You are. Three, three was like this. Like hey. when three was like Bethesda knew that nerds were going to hate the. Uh, Hey, Mass Carol, Effect. Here. Bethesda knew that the Mass Effect 3 ending was going to be bad, yeah. so they preemptively decided how can we run up this game four yeah. years before it comes out. At, at least they've added that DLC that fixed the ending, but it's like, hey, how about you pay to fix the ending? Like, here, pay us money and you'll get this DLC that changes the ending. Oh, behind us, behind us. We got at least guys. with Mass Effect 3, the ending changing Alpha. DLC was for free, but I don't know, I never played it once after I, I never played the new ending because yeah. I was very angry. Didn't care oh my god, Watt is about fine. to fucking clean up there. The Mass Effect 3 ending made no goddamn sense. No, it's it. Considering that my, my, my Shepard fucking negotiated peace between organics and th synthetics, fuck you, Star Child. Like, I was the, like. The I whole Star Child thing is the stupidest dumb. thing ever told. It was dumb, what? but it wasn't like. It didn't make me want to hate myself it, or the it game developers. Like, when, when I, uh. When, when I finished the Mass Effect the ending, my, how my reaction dead? was, I can't wait to see how the internet reacts to reacts this. Reacts to this bullshit. Yeah. Yes. It wasn't like, oh my god, fucking really why I hate you. It was like, man, I can't wait to see all the funny reactions to this pe shit. I and just went into it red, shit. and everyone, I was just like, guys, I just beat Mass Effect 3, like a week after it came out, and they're just like, it's okay, your support group is here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's good to see that our team is rage quitting right now. But yeah, no, yeah, like, uh, pretty bad. Like, there was Maybe a touch of effort would be nice. There was actually yeah. someone I saw actually got probated on the something awful Mass Effect 3 thread for saying that, uh, he, that if you think, he basically said something to the effect that you are. It was no, good? He, yeah, no, he, no, he said that if you liked the ending, you are pretty much on the same level of a skinhead. <laughs> nah, Doing some I, I would, uh, I would hear out a skinhead's arguments. I wouldn't hear out the argument for the Mass Effect 3 ending. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yeah, I'm hard but that's pretty things. much a true statement. I played through the thing on both way, both endings, and it was fucking fine. I the only problem I think had that... with that fucking ending was they thought they were gonna get to have a little love triangle live on forever. And that Shepard yeah. wasn't gonna fucking die. No, no, no. Killing Shepard was fine. Killing Shepard was, fine. Killing Killing Shepherd Shepherd was definitely the best decision that they made. He had to die. She well, had to die, you mean? Uh, I don't I think uh, Shepard actually died. Does anybody want to do like regular no, conquest? Because this is going to be just yeah, for the bird. Yeah. Well, first off, the, pro the problem was that the Arkham City ending was worse. That was the first pro the City ending was, ending was shit. That was that one. But that you know why they did bad. it, right? Because uh, Mark, Mark Hamill can't do the fucking voice anymore. Because yeah, no, I'm fine. He with, forgot how. Yo, sad day. I'm fine with him killing off the Joker, but it's like they can made it like just so anticlimactic. And Who can't yeah, do the voice Batman. anymore? Mark Hamill. Hamill like, uh, he, he doesn't remember how to do it. Oh, no, Joker? it's not that he doesn't remember how to do it. It's just that it's hurting his throat too much. Yeah, John DiMaggio's the new Joker, though. I think that's he does pretty, pretty well. Yeah, yeah, no, that's a that's a good choice, John DiMaggio. I like him. Uh, yeah, but going forward in future media, it's gonna be DiMaggio. Oh! Hmm. Holy shit, that's a bunch of guys on train track. Oh. Yeah. You know, um, speaking of video game endings, like, the only game I can think of where all the alternate endings... Yeah, that's a good ending for that game if it was the only one would be fucking uh, Spec Ops.
I need to play that line, that game. I've heard that game is so good, like such a gem. It's it's a fuck you to the gamer, but it's a good it's fuck a you. Shitty game. Yeah, it's yeah. just. It doesn't do anything great in gameplay. You see, but I'm gonna it's, say, it's I'm gonna say, it's, what's good about it? I'm gonna say that Spec Ops is a bad game because, like, they're saying, oh, they're trying to make war like bad, but look bad. But a lot of shit does that. If they wanted to like do a good job, they would try to make war boring. And like all it's, the like, it's not about all the, like war, best war media in ones, general. All the like best war media and shit are the ones that make war boring. My guess with that, with that game is that they wrote up a generic FPS and said, "Oh shit, no one's gonna play this because it's so harsh." And so then they just tried to, uh, uh, then they that tried to copy so Apocalypse. And they, then they just decided to make a bunch of references to Apocalypse now because that's like a good thing. Oh, they did Apocalypse more than that. Now is good. They yeah, yeah, it's, 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 yeah, it was literally, it was literally a bug once Wait, now, you just said you haven't played it. The thing is, it's not really about... The, that game is fucking retarded. It's just shit. Yeah, but that's the thing. Apocalypse Now was under, about war It's a bad being, fucking shooter. Being bad. That, that tells you you're a bad person for playing it, while giving you no choices but doing what it is, and then they tell you you're bad. Yeah, you're that's why it's meta. It. It's shit. That's why it's I, I, agree, I agree with Yig. I agree with Yig. I think Yig just didn't get it. No, I, I got the game, I got what I was trying to do, but if you don't give me a choice and then you call me a bad person for playing your game, you can go fuck yourself. It's not saying hey, you're a bad person, it's saying hey, the actions oh. undertaken right. hey, by hey, the main guys, guys, is bad. Guys, you're all fags. Because all we're all <laughs> yeah. So it's like if they made it Total. like a super fucking hard. What they should have done is made it a super really really hard segment that you could have skipped if you did the Willy Pete, and then gave you a fuck you if you did the Willy Pete. Well, and then you can, if they just you can try to do it without the Willy Pete. You just fucking can't do it. Yeah. But there was the even even COD had that 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 fucking scene with in, in the uh, airport or the mall or whatever it was. And that what, was where that? you what? could okay. do nothing. I haven't played it. I'm not going to play it. So what happens? Uh, you, you really hit a phosphorus. bunch of cities. You, 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 you come across like a fucking fortress of a checkpoint, and you take the enemy's um, uh, white phosphorus mortar launcher and mortar the shit out of them, and you, you and you uh, collateral a bunch of civilians in the process. Now you yeah. can try to do that on foot, but there's just too many fucking dudes with not enough cover, and you just get shot to shit. Yeah. They